Hey everybody, it's the Modern Native. So, remember how I said that I've pretty much been having the same fire for like almost three months now? Well, this is pretty much how I do it. So, you see that we got some coals in here and just some junk. I let it die down enough to where we still had just kind of like some hide of coals hanging out. So, I stir it around to kick up some of the orange, some of those embers, so that way it can actually light something. And I just take some of the driest, smallest sticks that I got, and I spread it across. Because you can never really tell exactly where the hottest point is going to be. So you don't know until you start trying to get it going. Now this is going to be a double video. This is going to be starting from embers and showing you guys my smoke fire. Because the key with a smoke fire to get rid of all the insects and everything is to try to get it just before it flames up and gets super hot so that way it kind of has to work its way through the green and it really billows the smoke oh yeah I do have my blower rod right here Always keep your fire tools next to the fire. It's always in reach, so when you're like, damn, I can't get it. You can get it. So then I build up my slightly larger kindling, because even if this kind of knocks out right now, it will... It will fire up. But what I'm actually trying to do, it's not like a normal fire start where you try to get it as hot as you can, as fast as you can. I'm actually attempting to slow it down as much as I can because then that smoke out will be much stronger. Can you just watch it to make sure it doesn't end on me? Because it does automatically kill it at some point sometimes. But. It's one of those things you want just enough to where it'll burn sometime today, but, you know, it's not going to flare up in your face. There. I'm confident that, I'm confident with that flare up. So then I pack some wood around the base, around it. Then when I know this is going to be fine, I take my weed bouquet, as the wife put it, and not the fun kind, but take my weed bouquet and I sit it right here. And you can already hear that. That snap crackle. That's the water vapors inside the leaves popping as it's bursting out of the seams of the cells. And you try to pack the holes, like not super tight, but just enough so that way no big flames are popping out. I go all the way around the edge. And I take one cap piece, and you can just see all that smoke billow off. We just wafted at ourselves. We flooded around camp. It's how we. It's like a natural um, 
bug fogger, pretty much. I mean, that's what where the concept came from. It will clear the insects out of the whole area for quite a while. You just have to, you know, watch your breathing. Catch clean pockets. Obviously, don't do this in an enclosed area. Don't do this to where you can't step away and get a fresh breath. Always make sure that you watch your oxygen and make sure you don't inhale too much smoke. But, you know, you guys know how I am. Whenever there's doubt, whenever there's, oh, he didn't really do that, well, you can see it. Literally just showed you the process on how I make sure I get a nice, nice billow smoky fire. So, to all the naysayers, there you go. Plus, you know, it's a good, useful tip for all my all my, fan, all my fans and my supporters and all those that uh, want to enjoy the outdoors and don't like chemical bug sprays, but also don't like bugs. So this is an, this is an option that I use daily out here full-time camping. So if you guys can see me, until next time, get out there, be a native, and go beast.